In this video, I want to talk about Friedel Craft's acylation mechanism. Okay, so if I take benzene, okay, and I react it with an acid chloride, yeah, and some sort of Lewis acid, let's use aluminum trichloride, okay, and some sort of Lewis acid, I get. I get acetophenone. Okay, I get acetophenone. So again, acylation um, implies a term A. Okay, an acid chloride where I have a carbonyl adjacent to a uh, adjacent to a uh, chlorine. Okay. So let's talk about the mechanism of how this happens. So in the first open mechanism, my chlorine has these lone pairs around it, okay? And it's gonna attack aluminum. And aluminum has three chlorines around it. So it's gonna lose, it's gonna use two of these lone pairs, attack aluminum, I'm gonna form my bond. Once I form my bond, I have chlorine that's bonded to aluminum, that's bonded to three other chlorines. Well, what do we know about aluminum? It has three valence electrons, now it has four bonds, so that gives it formally a negative one charge. My chlorine still have two, uh, electrons around uh two lone pairs around it so that gives it a plus one formal charge notice my charges are being conserved okay and the bond we just formed is is is, is highly reactive so what is going to end up happening is that this bond here is going to break and go on the chlorine so with that being said we form a carbocation so we form a plus charge on uh the carbonyl carbon okay we form a plus charge in the carbonyl carbon and we form uh, aluminum Cl4, which we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, so once my carbon cation is formed, benzene actually comes in. Okay, benzene actually comes in with one of its pi electrons and attack the carbon cation. Okay. Now, once this forms, well, important thing to point out notice that I'm conserving charge. So I have a plus charge here, but remember in solution we also form aluminum. Cl4 minus, okay? So that, there goes my charges, okay? So my benzene attacks, okay? And I'm, and yeah, okay, yeah, my benzene attacks. And again, I'm gonna form a carbocation on my benzene ring adjacent to where the bond is formed. So you can see that my bond is formed here, okay? Okay, we have our carbonyl. We still have one of the hydrogen and we form a plus charge adjacent to where the bond is okay this hydrogen has been there okay we started with benzene well what does benzene looks like um how it have uh, one hydrogen in each of the carbons around okay so we still have that's where the hydrogen is coming from so we still have this hydrogen here okay and so in the next step and just i'm just gonna for your, for my convenience i'm just gonna flip the molecule and draw the substituent to the right okay so in the next step Okay, so in the next step, the aluminum, uh, tri, uh, not trichloride now, but it has four um, chlorines around it, will actually act as a base. It has a negative charge, and it's going to act as a base and use one of the, the bonds bonded to the chlorine, to the, actual, to, to actual the same chlorine, actually to the same chlorine that was formed. Okay, it's going to use one of the bonds, actually that same chlorine, that uh, the bond that, that was bonded to that same chlorine is going to, act as a base, take the hydrogen off and kick in uh, that bond here to reform the bond. So we reform acetophenone, well not reform acetophenone, but we form acetophenone plus HCl. Mm -hmm. Now, the good thing with Friedel Crafts acylation, here's a big deal I want you to take away. No rearrangement, no rearrangement, okay? No carbocation re rearrangement. This is a straightforward. I take my I take my acid chloride and I just add on to the benzene ring. With three to crafts alkylation, however, we gotta we gotta worry about the stability and carbocation rearrangement.